I need your help today. I declare my dependence upon you. I need you today, God. Help me to make this thing plain. Give me the wisdom to disperse. Uh, the anointing that makes it easy. And God bless me to do it in such a manner that all of us would understand. And we thank you. We bless you. Give us receptive hearts and minds. Bless us to practice that that we receive. Uh, in Jesus' name. Now, once again, I declare my dependence upon you. I cannot do it without you. I'm going to lay this cloth out. And I trust you let the wind fold it in Jesus' name. Uh, amen. Let me go to Hebrews first. I don't have a title yet. I'm one of them fellas. I, I kind of figure out what my title is going to be while I'm preaching. So we'll, we'll figure out a title before it's uh, over. Amen. We talked about Jesus and who he is and was on uh, Tuesday. And uh, a little bit of a backdrop, we were discussing who Jesus really was in the sense of his beginnings. Amen. He's from everlasting to everlasting. When, when John talked about him, uh, John said that in the beginning was uh, the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And God did not do anything or create anything without uh, him. And I say it, word became him in the third verse. He, he, the word became a, a him, a Jesus, who we are celebrating his birth this, this month, was what God spoke that put on uh, a body. The Hebrew writer said that he was God in person. Y'all forgive me when I put a little, little bottom on God, but I like to do that. He, he called him God in person. He was, he, was, he, was, he was God personified. He was the express image of God. If God had looked in the mirror of Jesus, what you would have seen? I wish I had me uh, some um, body. And, and in John, don't turn, stay right there in Hebrews. John, John, um, John talked about him in John 14. And it was when Philip got a little curious. And he said, hey, hey, man, look, we hear all this stuff about God and the Father. Show us, show us, show us the Father, and it, it will suffice us. And I said that Philip, we have to understand that Philip was not on the mountain of transfiguration. Uh, and obviously, Peter, James, and John kept their mouth shut. You know, because they said, don't you go say nothing to nobody after the passion. So obviously, they didn't tell uh, anybody. So when, when Philip is asking this question, he hasn't seen what was in Jesus come out of Jesus. He didn't see him transfigured into an angelic being uh, on that mountain. He didn't see don't let me get every too soon. He didn't see Elijah and Moses. And in Luke's account, they came to discuss with him his decease. Uh, see, it, from everlasting to everlasting, he didn't know nothing about dying. So he had to talk to what he created to find out how to die. I wish it had me. And, and, and in, in, in that meeting, I call it, uh, it, was, it was a board meeting. In, in that meeting, there was a combination uh, of the law and the prophets. Uh, Moses represented law. And Elijah represented prophets. But, 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 but it goes a little deeper than that. Because Moses represented death and resurrection. And Elijah represented rapture. So he had rapture and resurrection and law and, and prophets all in the meeting. So, so Philip wasn't there, so he couldn't have had that revelation. So Jesus says to Philip, 
have not I been so long time with you? And, and you still don't know who I am. Uh, then he said, well, you, you, you need to believe me for something. Uh, when you see me, Philip, you have seen uh, the Father. Now, when, when I hear that, Jesus saying, yeah. you saw lepers healed. You saw blind eyes open. You saw paralytics take up their bed and, uh, and walk. Uh, you seen dead folk raised. Uh, you see me step out on the deck of a ship in the midst of the storm and, and, and the rain and talk to water. Uh, we didn't even know that water had ears till Jesus got here. We didn't know. We didn't, we didn't, we didn't know that wind could hear uh, till Jesus got here. And, and uh, Oh, help the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. Peace. Uh, be still. And, 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 and then I know you, you, you got to remember that y'all was on a, a boat and it was dark. And you left me praying. And when you looked up, you saw me walking. Yeah, yeah. I was walking down 95. I wasn't on the road to Damascus. <laughs> wasn't headed toward Philippi, Caesarea, wasn't it? But I created a highway in the wall. Yeah. Uh, and the way I'm going to define him walking on water is that air, a word, can't sink. Yeah. You ever seen a scuba diving movie? Jacques Cousseau and them. When, if they say a word, it comes out in a bubble. Yeah. And the bubble floats to the top. So Jesus can't say it because he's the word. <laughs> word just. Y'all forgive me, but he did allow himself to sink on one occasion. Mm -hmm. Because uh, he had let John baptize him. <laughs> and the only way I'm going to let water cover him because I got to fulfill it. I'm going to let John dip it, but. Because uh, he has to fulfill all righteousness. So he's trying to tell Philip, what more would God have done if he'd been here? So when you look at me, you look at God. Believe me for the works sake. Tell that neighbor, he's more than a baby in a manger. He's God. I don't have time, but the proverb writer say, he begot me in the beginning of his way. Before there was a fountain, before there was water, before there was a cockroach, yeah, I was there, and God didn't do anything unless he spoke it first. The Hebrew writer said that the elders obtained a good report. And they obtained a good report because uh -huh, they believe God. So then by faith we understand that the things that are seen are made by the things that do not appear. Give that neighbor high five and say, neighbor, you can't see him, but you can feel him. You can touch him. In fact, when you touch me, I'm a product of God. I wish I had me some Body. I want to go yes. Hebrews 10 I'm going to slow down now Take your time. that's my preamble to the constitution so we're going to slow down and walk a little bit now give me Hebrews 10 7 uh, help me low mm. Vincent Hebrews 10, and my Christmas tree is decorated. 
If you, if you don't want to celebrate decoration, don't come to my house. I got everything but a mistletoe. And if I wasn't saved, I had one of them. I was happy. Hey, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to use the mistletoe before I knew him. And tell the chair what the mistletoe for later on. Hallelujah. But if you came in my place and got on my mistletoe, but you had to be a female. Yeah, you had to be a female. Had to be a female, yeah, yeah. And got on the, uh, hallelujah. But I can't talk like I wanna. But when, 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 but I can't say that. But if you stepped on the middle of my house, you were no more individual. I wish you had me. Oh. Y'all trying to act like y'all been saved all y'all life. I want everything in my house. I want everybody I know to be happy for Christmas. And don't be happy because of how much you have, but just be happy because it's his birthday. <laughs> Hallelujah. And I'm gonna make you a promise. You may not be happy because of how much you gave your children, but I promise you, I don't care what you give them, they're gonna be happy. They don't get nothing but a basketball. They're going to go out there with that basketball and they're going to have a good time for Christmas. Hallelujah. Ain't God good. Hebrews. Yeah. Then said I. What I say? Lo. Lo. I come. In the volume of the book it is written of me. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. wait. You mean the word? He's so much word, he came in the volume. He's so much word, he came in the 66. He's so much word, he came in the volume uh, of the books. He had to fulfill the law uh, and the prophets. John 1, 14. And the word was made flesh. And, and, and the word, Lord, I come in the volume of the books, what God spoke, put on a body. Give me verse three, quick. All things were made by him. Him word. And without him. And without him. Was not anything. God didn't do it made. unless he spoke it first. Help me, Holy Ghost. Give me Colossians 1, 15, quick. Who is the image of the invisible God. Watch it, Greg. He's the image. Uh, of the invisible God. The firstborn of every creature. He the first. He was here before Adam was. He's the firstborn of every creature. Read. For by him. For by him. Were all things created. Oh, he, he, he used him to create everything. Read. That are in heaven. In heaven. And that are in earth. In earth. Visible and invisible. Uh -huh. And invisible. Whether they be thrones. Psalms 33 don't turn about six and say by the word of his mouth were the heavens made he made the unseen help me that that angel that you can't see he made that too i wish i had me somebody read whether they be thrones, thrones. or dominions yes or principalities yes or powers yes all things were created by him yes and for him and for him and he is before all things he is before all things and by him and by him all things consist that means the world is still held together by that word that God spoke help me here his word is the reason the earth hadn't spent out of orbit I don't care what that fancy school teacher tell you well where did gravity come from to hold you in an orbit yes, sir. We stay in the proper place because his word consists, everything consists of his word, is held together. Help me here. And that's why we're still, that's why we haven't collided with Mercury or Pluto or Saturn. Help me, Holy Ghost. A Mars, watch my, watch my Mars. A Mars, help me. They saw something green on Mars. And if God wants to have some life on, on Mars, he God. Help me. 
The Hebrew I say he created worlds. It was an S on it. So God can have another planet somewhere. I wish I had me somebody. Go on to shut down on me. But when I get to heaven, I want to be a messenger angel. So I can go to some of the other worlds that God made. I want to be the one to carry Mary the message on another world. I wish I had me somebody. <laughs> Hallelujah. Uh, Greg, we live more than I'm going. Yes, sir. And he is before all things. Before all things. And by him all things consist. Yes. And he is the head of the body. Yes. The church. He the head of the body. The church. Who is the beginning. Uh-huh. The firstborn from the dead. So he had to be the firstborn of every creature. Then he had to be the firstborn from the dead. I'm talking about Jesus. Yes. Not only because he had to have preeminence. And could nothing that God create be alive from the dead before Jesus? Yeah. When I read my Bible, a couple of men in the Old Testament, they had the power and the anointing to raise men from the dead. I said, read my Bible. I find out that Jesus raised several folk uh, from the dead. Y'all pray for me here. Yeah. Hallelujah. But uh, everybody that was raised from the dead before Jesus had to die again. Help me here. The Bible tells us in Matthew 26, around 51, somewhere longer than there, it said that when Jesus <laughs> Gave up the ghosts. <laughs> Say the dead saints set up in the grave. Uh huh. But they said that they couldn't go down and show themselves in the city until after Jesus Christ rose from the dead. Hallelujah. And after they showed themselves, they had to go back in the grave. Somebody ought to give my God a praise. That he got to have preeminence. He got to be number one. Get that neighbor high by say, neighbor, you got the right thing. He got to be number one. I'm going to get in trouble right quick. And I'm going to get back to my teacher. Okay, I'm going to get in trouble. And I'm going to get back to my teacher. Give me Galatians. 3, about 20, and then I'm going to get back to my teacher. Now, a mediator yeah. is not a mediator of one. A mediator is not a mediator of one. But God is one. Uh-oh, I'm having trouble, y'all. Jesus is my advocate. He's my intercessor. He's my go-between. He presents me on behalf of, and he's talking to himself. He's the mediator, and he also the one he's talking to. He, a mediator is one that mediates conflict. And uh, he, he brings you to an agreeable solution. <laughs> you know, uh, uh, come now, let us reason together, is what, is what Isaiah said. Do your sin be as scarlet? I'm going to watch them white as snow. See, there's not a problem with God, there's a problem with me. Uh, the conflict is I'm full of sin. And the mediator bring me and God together. And he resolve the conflict. I wish I had me somebody. Anybody ever been in a mediation? A mediation is when they tell you to come together with whoever your conflict is with. And the majority of cases in a civil sense are settled in mediation. And they settle in mediation before it gets to the court. Uh huh. And when when I had to go to mediation, the attorney told me, he said, "If you let this go to court, it's gonna be out of your hands. You won't have no control." 
But if I can get y'all to come together in mediation, hallelujah, I can get you delivered in mediation and you never got to go to court. See, the mediator thinks I never got to go to judgment. Come on and hook up with this mediator. This mediator that's going to bring you and I together. And the world have told me to be at one again. He's going to bring me and God back together and cause us to be one. Somebody put those. <laughs> Hebrews 10, 7. Where, where my time keep? Oh, y'all in trouble. Oh, we got plenty of time. I ain't going to keep you up too long. Lord's willing. Then said I, Yes. Lo, lo I come. Yeah. In the volume of the book, the it word. is written of me. Hear the word. And the word come through the volume. Yeah. He had to fulfill the law and the prophets. Right. He had to be baptized. He had to go through the same things that the Hebrews, the Jews, had to go through. Yeah. He was 12 years old, he had to be presented. He had to go through all of those things. Yes, he fulfilled all of that. Heard preachers say that uh, Jesus was hanging on the cross and yes. he was going through in his mind, yes. making sure he'd done everything he was supposed to do. Yes, and while he was hanging there, he remembered he had not tasted the water yet. Yes, I'm, I'm going to let y'all go. The light of the body. The light of the body is the eye. Is the eye. If therefore thine eye be single, if, you're, if your eye is single, thy whole body shall be full of light. Your light, your body is full of light. Come on. But if thine eye be evil, but if your eye is evil, thy whole body shall be full of darkness. You, can, you, you can't lay with a harlot and be saved. If you join your body to a harlot, you a harlot. You join yourself to God. I wish he had me some help in here. Yo, yo. I might need to give y'all some chaser. Oh, yeah. Y'all might need some chaser. Get this down. If, if, if I'm saved and I get darkness in my eye, how great is that darkness? You could be in worse shape than you think. See, you measure your salvation on the fact that you can still speak in tongues. And when you come in church, you feel good when they hit that 3D organ. Yeah. You measure your salvation on the fact that you can still shout and feel good uh, uh -huh, in church. Yeah. But I'm going to tell you something. You can't judge your salvation on the lettuce and the tomatoes. You got to judge your salvation on the meat of God's word. I wish I had with somebody. Get that neighbor high five. Say, neighbor, don't get your shout confused with the holiness. Don't even get your church name confused. Yo, it might be Philippian out there, but it's got to be holy in here. I wish I had me somebody. Oh, uh, yeah. Glory. You may never wear a ribbon to say holy, but you better be holy when you see him. Follow peace with all men, and with holiness without shall no man see the Lord. Get that neighbor high by said, neighbor, I want to see the Lord. I'm not going to use my body to serve the devil. I can't be a servant of sin. I'm going to miss my God. Get that neighbor high by say, neighbor, don't you want to go? City, I heard that. And here we have no constituent city, but we look for one to come. If you plan on flying, you got to get it right. Get that neighbor high. I say, neighbor, get it right.
me in Romans 6, 23. I'm, I'll pray for me because I can't finish the day. So I'm a little testy. Yeah, I'm a little testy. Yeah. I'm, I'm one of them old, I'm an I'm old school believer. Yeah, we, we said it just before five hours. Don't blame. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm old school. Yeah. Thank you. Kept me on the right privilege now. I hang a little while now. I was somebody. But now I got to let y'all go see the football game. Somebody left their turkey and they, uh, what that thing is, the pressure cooker? You know, already burnt your muffins. Burnt your muffins already. You send them in there. You know, before you came to church, that if I was preaching, y'all gonna be here a little bit longer. You should have set your crock pot for an hour later. That's all I got to say. Now, me, we just having fun. We have fun. Me and Virgil, all right? Don't worry about that. He can't preach right now, no way. He, he can never take it. Hallelujah. <laughs> hey, God, good. Hey, we got a good relationship. Y'all hear me? That African that African American can preach too. Yes, he can too. Yes, sir. Yes, he can. Yes, he can. Why y'all need to be fun? Y'all know how. Hey, girl, I ain't seen you in a while. I'm look up, look up. Grab that. I ain't talking about her. I'm looking. What I call Romans 6, 23. For the wages of sin is death. For for the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God. But, 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 but the gift of God is eternal life through is Jesus Christ our Lord. Eternal life through Jesus Christ. So he came to work death to give us the gift of eternal life. He couldn't give us the gift till he whipped death. So his, his, his purpose, Lord, I come in the volume of the books to do thy will. I came to work death for humanity. I had to come through, uh, help me, Holy Ghost. I had to come through Mary's womb. Yeah. Yeah. Had no dealing. Joseph had no dealing with Mary. Matthew 1, 23. Matthew say he came down through 42 generations. Yeah. Oh yes, he did. And when 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 Mary got impregnated, Joseph had nothing to do with it. Help me, Holy Ghost, and the boy was sad. They were minded. They put her away privily. So that means he had some kind of standard. Uh-huh about his life but Joseph probably didn't know it then but found out later he was in the lineage uh, and by the love about Matthew he covered the lineage and he brings the line right down to Joseph and the reason that he does that it has to be confirmed what Nathan told David in 2 Samuel chapter 7 that somebody out of your loins will sit on the seat of the throne of Israel uh-huh Forever, get that name high five. Say, He did it, He did it for me. I wish I had somebody. The first Adam fell, and God brought a second Adam. Now, uh, because of this sin nature, uh, Jesus couldn't have no interference with the seed of Joseph, so Mary had to get pregnant all by herself but the angel told joseph read that verse 21 i mean 21 what it says and she shall bring forth a son he talking to joseph and she gonna bring forth a son and thou shalt call his name jesus. we gonna call his name we gonna call his name jesus and he come see in order to give you the gift he got to get you out of something you can't get the gift unless he get you out of sin he don't save you from sin, he can't give you the gift. <laughs> Listen, some theologians suggest that Jesus Christ was raised from the dead not only because of his deity, 
But he also was raised from the dead because he didn't sin. And if he didn't sin, death couldn't hold him. So he comes in my life to take away sin and give me the gift. If he don't take away sin, he can't give me the gift. See, the, before you can get the Holy Ghost, you got to repent ye therefore. Yes, sir. And you got to be converted. You got to be changed. And then he said, he shall send Jesus Christ. If Jesus can't come if you repent. And Joseph couldn't have no dealing with Mary. Yeah. And not that he couldn't be tempted because he, he could, but he didn't have the nature of the first Adam. Yeah. So God allowed him according to the Hebrew writer to be tempted and tested at every point. And, and that was so he'd understand what me and you going through. And then the Hebrew writer said that uh, he whipped death, he went through temptations, that he can secure us when we were tempted. That means when you were tempted, you got a help. You got a paraclete. You got the Holy Ghost. You got the power of the Holy Ghost in your life. And when, when you were tempted, he knows how to give you ample help to get you through that temptation without yielding to that temptation. And the Apostle Paul said, there's no temptation that has taken us but such as is common to man. And he will, with the temptation, also prepare a way to escape that we may be able to bear it. Get that neighbor high by and say, neighbor, God ain't gonna put a temptation on you that you can't say no to. I know y'all like hearing that, but you need to let somebody help you read your Bible. Yeah, because God ain't gonna put nothing on you. I don't know how fine she is, how bow-legged he is, you ain't got the sin, you got power. I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna let y'all go. Let me see uh, John 18, 36. I'm going to uh, do my best to shut down. Don't push me. Uh, show ain't through. No, no. Yeah, don't, no. don't push me. Your food going to be cold for real. Don't push me. <laughs> Years ago, Church of God in Christ. Just another day that the Lord.